More sold. Stephen King from a Buick 8. We, uh, Rich actually sold this copy for $10 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I'm also cutting my losses on this book. I have had this for a hot minute at $5. I don't know what it is about like movie covers are just hard to sell. I will not pick this book up again. I bought it from Salvation Army for 50 cents. I've had it up for $5. It sold once and I was super excited about it and then the person canceled the order. So I had to relist it which cost me more in listing fees. I am in the hole and I took a $3 offer just to move it along. First stop, local library, found a copy of the Tommy Knockers and the Dark Half, 50 cents a piece. Yep, absolutely. Oh my gosh, even with this crappy weather, we found a garage sale. Garage sale was just a bunch of baby stuff. She had closed down a uh, daycare center. So we're gonna check Salvation Army. actually pretty well with mailboxes. Except for this one's got a pretty significant dent, which sucks. Oh, that's weird. That's the same Santa we just got from Alexis's grandparents' house. Oh, I already have that one. I need like five and six, I think, are the ones I'm looking for. You know what, though? For 50 cents a piece, these might be good for resale. There's this one, and then these three down here, too. I had already sold this copy once for five bucks. I figure five and five and maybe eight on these two. I'm reading this one before I do anything with it. Man, this is a good one to sell, too. This one's a rose one. South Dakota. Texas. That's where I was born. Oh my gosh. Maybe like $700. Seventy nine ninety nine. That was close. I had the seven right. It looks like that's all she wrote for this stop. This is different. It's a holiday sale, but we're literally going into the holidays. So I'm gonna go in and see what is what. They'd probably be asking twenty five or so dollars or more in the store up at the UP. You know, Mac and I rather here for four. And we've made it. If anyone was wondering what the outside of the antique mall looks like, this is part of it. Okay, now we have to figure out where to put all this stuff. I took a bunch of crap off eBay. That just wasn't selling this. That planter, this vase. Oh, we've seen these. This we got from Alexis's grandparents' house. It's like a rucksack type thing. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was neat. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to organizing. Check this out though. All but two of those wooden shutters that we garbage picked have sold. So I've already made 30 bucks off those. <clears throat> Score. I also took a bunch of freaking cassette tapes that were sitting on eBay forever offline. I did sell two of the Elton John ones that were here. I can't believe those are still here. Weird. We have to figure out where to put this stupid giant trunk. But we're almost out of 
duck decoys. This used to be like overflowing with duck decoys. So I think we can probably eliminate this whole box. Cool. Restock some CDs. A couple more cassette tapes. That's new. Those are new. Those over there are new. Got rid of that box that had the ducks. These are the last four that we have left. Both of these are new. What else did we do? This is new. Something we found at Alexis's grandparents' house. These we brought from eBay stuff. Something else we brought from Alexis's grandparents' house. Quilts. Got that one. That one. Both of those came from Alexis's grandparents' house. Along with that mirror that we garbage picked. Um, yeah, I don't know. Looks, oh, that we took off eBay because it wasn't selling. There's that little rucksack thing. So yeah, looking good. Both of those also came from Alexis's grandparents' house. So I think we're pretty much done wrapping it up. And we have a check. We have like a, it's like a hundred-ish dollars. So not great, but I'll take it. Oh, that's new too. $97.11. Finally found something that is not a book. $3 at a garage sale in 1968. Uh, I almost said Emerald. Empire Blow Mold. Officially our last pick and stop of today. Aren't these something? They are. And they know they are. Even with a busted nose, they want 20 bucks for them. That sucks. 25 for him. And 25 for him. Prices are just too high today. That is adorable. But they want 15 bucks for it. No thanks. I gotta know. And it's super busted. Super busted. I don't even see a price on it. On this 25? Yep. Where do you see that? Oh, no, I see. $24.99. Nope. Oh, uh, back to our tiny little pick and pile. That's okay. At least it wasn't a complete bust or anything. These two I picked up at the local library. I have a dollar invested in the pair. I'm probably at five or six for the Tommy Knockers and probably five for the Dark Half. Where the crawdads sing. I've sold this once in hardcover for five, I believe, and another time in paperback but it was a large print edition I think I got six out of that one um, I've already read it it was really good and they're turning it into a movie I'm excited for that um, City of Bones and City of Ashes I've already I already own both of these although I haven't read them yet I did sell book two already once um, and I think I got five bucks for it so probably five each for those two <laughs> the Nightingale this one I'm keeping um, I've heard amazing, amazing, amazing things about this book. Um, I've read two other Kristen Hannas. I read The Great Alone, which I finished recently within the last month, and it was really good. And I also, what is the name of it? I'm trying to look on my shelf, and I don't see it. Homefront by Kristen Hanna, which was also extremely, extremely good. So this I'm keeping until I read it and then I'll sell it. It definitely has some resale value and because it's in good condition and it's a hardcover, that might sell for more like seven, eight bucks. I don't know. And then we have book three and book four in hardcover. Now, <laughs> if I can get five bucks out of a paperback, I shouldn't have that much of a problem getting like seven or eight out of the hardcovers. I don't know though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. Um, I kind of wish I had all of these in hardcover instead of paperback, but I don't, so whatever. Moving on. I found a vintage blow mold for $3 because this is a little itty bitty guy and his core does have some, I don't know if you call that damage, but it's like been rewired weird. I don't know. I don't like it, but um, it needs a new cord is what I'm trying to say. Go in. Go to your home. Um, that's not really a huge deal, but it does very slightly 
dollar ninety something. Um, it does slightly take away from the resale value, but I should still be able to get like twenty five bucks for this guy, plus cost of shipping. So we don't have any like diamonds, but we did okay, and I'm really stoked about finding this out in the wild for fifty cents. Super stoked on that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think we're gonna go thrifting again, <laughs> so I'll talk to you then. Bye.